Beauty. My name is Susie and today I thought I would share with you a really easy recipe for making something that the whole family can benefit from and that is poopery. And poopery is a spray deodorant. Actually it's an odor blocker for your toilet bowl or your commode or your throne. So it's so easy to make and I buy this all the time and I have and I've given it as a stocking stuffer or as a gift or whatever. Um, and these are, uh, they're quite expensive. They're also very, very strong in terms of the fragrance. And I find it a little bit too strong for my liking. So I thought I'd figure out how to make it. And I came across this recipe. I know that there's a lot of recipes out there. Everybody puts their own special ingredients or flavor on it but the recipe that I'm using today was the most common recipe that I found consistently on the websites of uh, retailers for essential oils and the essential oils are what is giving our spray it's uh, not only its fragrance but it's actually the oil is creating the blocker or the film on top of the water that actually blocks any odors that are below the water, which is where you want the odors to stay. So I figured if the retailers of the essential oils are posting recipes, they have to work because obviously they want you to buy their products. So this is the recipe. It's very easy. You can make either a four ounce bottle or a two ounce bottle. This lasts quite a while. The two ounce bottle is really practical because you can carry it in your purse in case you would like to travel with it. And the four ounce bottle is great for at home because it lasts longer, more people can use it. So let's get started on the recipe. We need four things. Alcohol, glycerin, some essential oils and water. So the alcohol is, it's alcohol so it sterilizes but it evaporates very quickly. And I'm thinking that in this recipe, it's going to help um, with the evaporation of the fragrance of the oils that we're using. So you need three tablespoons of alcohol. One, two, three tablespoons of alcohol. And then you need one tablespoon of glycerin and glycerin is really the emulsifier that's going to hold all the ingredients together because oil and water repel each other. The glycerin creates, like I said, an emulsification that helps to keep all those little bits of the essential oil distributed through the solution. So when you spray it, you're spraying it um, evenly. one tablespoon of glycerin and you can buy glycerin and alcohol at your local drugstore and then to this because i'm making four ounces i'm going to add i'm going to add enough water just a little bit shy of four ounces and i'm just going to mix this together and I want to, I'm going to pour this in my bottle because it just makes it easier uh, using a measuring cup. But when it comes to the essential oils, because I don't want them sticking to my cup, I don't want to lose any of the essential oils. So I'm going to put the essential oils directly in here. Now for a four ounce bottle, it's recommended you can use anywhere between 20 and 40 drops of essential oils, fragrance that you like. Today I'm going to be using, um, I love lemongrass and this is, uh, it's like bitter orange, citrus orange and the lemongrass. The, uh, I love the combination and I know we can use 20 to, to 40 drops. I'm going to use 30 drops and see if that's enough. I'm using 30 drops of essential oils because for me that's enough fragrance for the, um, the bathroom. So 15 drops of the orange. And I'm going to use 15 drops of the lemongrass, which I love. It's another really very fresh uh, scent. So I've got a total of 30 drops in there. 
and you will see you will see that the essential oils are floating on the surface so all you want to do is shake it before you use it and when you shake it you can see it turns cloudy because of the um, that glycerin that's in there it like I said it becomes the emulsifier and it helps to mix that whole solution for demonstration purposes you want to be civil and the measurements don't have to be a hundred percent exact as long as it's close so in order to use it you're just going to shake spray and go and already that's imparting um, a beautiful scent in the room but really the major trick is that film is creating a protective shield and holding that odor underneath the water smell the fragrance um, I won't be doing this in my So you can definitely smell the fragrance the fragrance evaporates but so it works really really well now as a word of caution the essential oils they will stain marble granite uh, and they will stain wood or more wood so you want to make sure to keep these little guys on the back of the commode porcelain is not porous so there is no problem storing them there and the other um, just little tip is that the essential oils are, they do perish quicker if they're exposed to sunlight or they, use, they lose their effectiveness if they are exposed to a lot of light. So usually that's why essential oils, they always come in these dark little glass bottles. If you can get glass bottles that are dark, that is the best. I can only find these little plastic ones but if you can only use the plastic ones, then make sure that you've got or make a label with your printer and your computer that covers the little bottle all the way around. Another reason for having a label on this is because you don't want someone going into your bathroom and mistaking this for something else and spraying it in their face or getting in their eyes because obviously it's not meant for that purpose. So I've just made up some labels on my computer just kind of indicating what to do and I've just written down spray then go with a little toilet and I think um, that everybody will understand to use the spray before you actually use um, the commode. So that's the recipe. Obviously if you're using the little bottles you're just dividing this in half or if you're just using one little bottle just divide the recipe in half to give you your two ounces. This is extremely handy you can carry it in your purse um, and these are just little cool little gifts to give to people obviously people that you know you don't want to give it to somebody you don't know uh, you don't want to offend anybody but it's something that really really works. I think you're going to enjoy it. So if you try it and it works for you, I hope you share it. Don't forget to spray before you go.